be really jealous because I'm here in the kitchen with Market District Chef Ben D'Amico. We are making Thanksgiving, uh, Thanksgiving side yeah. for our cooking corner segment this week. Giving it a little boost, if you will, right? Yeah. Mashed potatoes with a twist. Over the top mashed potatoes, if you will. Over the top mashed potatoes, absolutely. Yeah. So ma mashed potatoes is a staple for is. Thanksgiving. Love them. And My favorite food. Absolutely. One of them. It's, it's also, there's a million ways to do it, and we're going to show some ways to add some flair, add some different flavors to your traditional mashed potato recipe. Okay. So we're going to start with just my version of mashed potatoes. And you just have some potatoes Some cooked. peeled white boiled potatoes, yep. Okay. And I'm going to add about, uh, about a half a stick of butter. I cube it up, let it soften a little bit. Okay. And then also I like to add some sour cream. Yum. And that just flavor. adds what, like a little adds a little bit of that tartness and a little bit of creaminess. Okay. Um, and then I'm gonna add in some heavy cream. I like to use heavy cream over milk. Just it just adds a little more of that, that uh, fatty mmm. You that know, creaminess, kind of. right? Exactly. <laughs> the fatty mmm. The fatty mmness. <laughs> yes. Okay. Uh, you didn't even have to complete the word <laughs> <that's> there. <right. laughs> a little bit of uh, black pepper. Okay. And then actually, I like to use white pepper too um, for the for the underlying flavor it gives. Okay. And then of course uh, a good bit of salt for bringing it all together. Absolutely. And really, what you're gonna do here. Is just mash it with a potato masher. If you want to use a mixer, put it in a bowl. That's all fine. Depends on how creamy you want it. Okay. If you want a little, you know, less creamy, go ahead and use the old potato masher. Okay. Bash it, mash it up. Um, it's good to go. You can actually do mashed potatoes ahead of time. If you do them oh. like this, you leave them a little drier, and then the day before, put them in a pot or put them in the oven. You add a little bit of cream, a little more butter to it. It'll re-loosen it and you just stir it together. Well, is that better to you? Feel it's not fine? better, but if you're on a, in a time crunch, it's a great way to yeah. do it. Also, okay. if you buy store-bought mashed potatoes and you want to add a little pizzazz to them, zhuzh them up this yeah, way. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Do the same right. kind of thing to them. So we're gonna set that aside. Okay. And we're gonna. I'm gonna ask you. We're gonna make one of our flavors. So oh, gonna, it's okay. Gonna be, uh, it's gonna be your choice. Oh, oh. So you've already creamed I, I have these. A a big, a big pot, and you'll see this is this is kind of a looser mash. And I'm doing this because um, we're gonna add some cheese and some binders to here. To kind of thick it up. Yeah, so okay. we don't need it to be that thick. So okay, so you're taking that. Bowl. I'm gonna take this and just fill it with a couple, couple scoops. Big heaping spoop, scoops. Absolutely. I really do. I love this. My husband and I were having a friendsgiving. I was telling mm -hmm. you, and. This is like the staple for me. You know, everybody has that one thing they look forward to, or maybe multiple things, but mashed potatoes is always my thing. So Excellent. So we have our mashed in here, and okay. I'm going to ask you to pick a cheese. So we have five different cheeses. We have Parmesan, Borzen. We have goat cheese, Ooh, what's feta cheese. Borzen cheese. Borzen is a garlic herb cheese. It's oh. actually smooth and creamy, very pungent, very awesome. Not, okay. not too bitey. So. Since I'm only halfway through the show, maybe I'll go with the goat Let's, cheese. All right, we're going to go with the goat cheese. You said pungent. I, I think maybe we should wait on that all one. Right. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to add some of the goat cheese in. And then next, I'm going to ask you to mi uh, pick one of the mix in. So I have some pancetta, calamite olives, roasted garlic. Bacon. Bacon. All right, we're gonna add in some, some bacon here. Nice big chunks of bacon. If you're gonna make mashed potatoes, you might as well load it up. Yeah. And then I have a flavor mix. We have some garlic, some rosemary, a little bit of pesto, and some horseradish. What would you say with something like? I that? would say a little bit of horseradish. Let's do it. A little bit of bite too. Okay. It. I also love the, um, what the caramelized onions too. Would you put that in there? We Could you? Put, yeah. Let's put a little let's more. Just in. put a little yeah. more. I mean, we're zhuzhing here. Yeah, we're absolutely. Let's, let's go <laughs> we can all out. zhuzh away. You can add all, all of it too. <laughs> okay. I, like, I like things in threes, but something with flavor, something with texture, and something soft and creamy. That's oh, okay. How, that's how that's the uh, rule. That's how I like to do it. Yeah. Your, am I, I'm messing up your balance here a little no, bit. No, well, four, four is an even number. We're it's like, okay. yeah, yeah, all it's right. fine. <laughs> we're going to mix this together and then. Oh, you have that bowl over I there. I have a bowl right here. Yeah, okay. we're just going to pour this in again. This is. Should I serve on here? Uh, you can, or you can grab a. Here, I'll just take a, a little. Sure, I have a little spoon for you. Okay, what's up next? And then next, we're gonna make um, a very over-the-top recipe. So, we're gonna make lobster mac and cheese. But and with mashed potatoes. With mashed potatoes. Yeah. yeah. Oh, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> yes. Lobster mashed potatoes. Well, we can lobster do mac, mac and cheese too. We can too. make that in the next episode. Okay. So we have our mashed potato base, and we're gonna start with that. Put that into a bowl. Mmm. And. Wow, that goat cheese is great. Yeah, you made it wow. yourself. So there's no wrong this way to is, make it. But this it, is really awesome. Nice little fancy little. Oh, yeah. So here what I have is I have some lobster. Mm -hmm. I, I, I used fully cooked lobster. You can get it already done with the claws and knuckles, or you can buy and cook your own. Okay. In here, it's about a stick and a half of butter, and then some vanilla bean. And you can use vanilla extract. Did you actually just cook it in the butter? Yes, I kind of poached it, so it's been simmering very low. Okay. But I get a, a vanilla bean we have in the stores, and this is kind of cool. You use the back of a knife. Just scrape a vanilla yeah. bean. And that is your vanilla inside there. Wow. So again, that's that's going to give you a really pungent, really nice flavor here. Okay. And add a little bit of lemon juice. So here in this mix, 
I have my lobster, mm -hmm. but before I do that, I'm gonna fold in some mascarpone cheese into this. So mascarpone's a little bit, uh, you find it in like tiramisu for mm -hmm. the most part. Right. And actually goes really well with lobster. Is there, what's the difference between uh, mascarpone and um, cream cheese? Uh, is, there, is there a big difference? Uh, yeah, this one, the cream cheese is a, maybe a little sweeter. Okay. This is a little more tangy. Okay. So I'm gonna first fold that in. And okay. actually to this too, I'm gonna also add some tarragon. So since we're adding lobster, tarragon and lobster for some reason just go very, very really well, well together. Okay. So we're gonna fold in that. And that's gonna melt. And then we're gonna add in some of our lobster. Great. And I wanna add, actually, if I can ask you to stir this for me. Yeah, while I while fold you're it in. Yeah, so we're gonna fold it in. And this has lobster, butter, lemon juice, and the vanilla. And we're gonna just add a piece, couple pieces at a time. You don't want it too that buttery. That's great. And we're just gonna keep adding pieces. Okay. Again, this okay. might be a little looser. If it's a little looser, you can always add a little, fold in a little more potato. That's great. So we're gonna start there. Fantastic. And then to that, I'm going to, let's uh, do a little bowl here. Okay, great. Well, you serve that up. I'm gonna right. try this. Uh, as we head into commercial break, it looks delicious, and I think people are really gonna love these. I hope so. Over the Give top mashed try. potatoes. And for a copy of today's recipes, you can go to kdka.com slash PTL. Our thanks to Giant Eagle for sponsoring the Cooking Corner here every other Tuesday on Pittsburgh Today Live.